I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor, and we have breaking news. All right, so this is the situation we have right here. Darby is now the first Category 4 hurricane of both the, either the Pacific or the Atlantic hurricane season. We have our first Category 4 hurricane right here. And as you can see by the satellite imagery, this looks like an extremely impressive hurricane right here. The eye wall is pretty much circular. I've not seen a, uh, a hurricane this perfect in structure since Dorian that hit in 2019 in the Bahamas. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the public advisory. Maximum sustained winds 140 miles per hour. It is now a powerful Category 4 hurricane on the Sapphire Simpson scale. Darby is expected to peak in, the t in intensity in the next day or so and then begin we a weakening trend by midweek. Darby remains a small system with hurricane force winds only extending out 10 miles from the center and tropical storm force winds extending 60 miles from the center. The estimated minimum central pressure, 954 millibars. This is still rapidly intensifying. This is still explosively intensifying. At this point yesterday, this was a hur just a, this was just a 65 mile per hour tropical storm. Now it is a Category Four hurricane. This has more than doubled in intensity since the uh, since in the last 24 hours. In fact, we can show this too. We can go ahead and go back to the uh, go back to here. We're gonna go ahead and go back to 150 frames. That is 25 hours, just to show you the evolution of this. This is very fast. We have right. It is a very fast evolution. You can see this thing start developing. You can see this becomes a hurricane, and then that structure starts to get a lot better. And then as time goes on, that eye starts developing. It becomes very circular, very symmetrical, and. As you can see, that we're seeing minus 70 cloud tops that are starting to surround this. And this thing is basically rotating at the size of a buzzsaw. Like, this is a, effectively your, what you, you call your buzzsaw hurricane right here. This is spinning so fast that, uh, that it really reflects how strong this hurricane is. Now, I will say the eye is larger than it needs than it needs to be. The eye looks to be around 10, uh, 10, maybe even 15 miles wide. Hurricane force winds only go out 10 miles from the center. That's unsustainable. Either that eye has to shrink or an eye wall replacement cycle has to take uh, effect. There is no other option other than those two. If it undergoes an eye wall replacement cycle, it will weaken the storm if it goes badly. But at the same time, it'll really expand that wind field. So we're going to have to pay attention to it. And this thing really has been taking everyone by surprise, including myself. If we take a look at the latest track models, uh, we have it right here. It's moving just south of Hawaii. If this thing undergoes an Iowa replacement cycle, these bands might be big enough to affect the big, isle, uh, big island right here. So everyone in Hawaii who is watching this needs to pay attention. It's only uh, the, the NHC only has this as a tropical depression dissipating by that point. We're going to really have to wait and see uh, as time goes on. I know there is a lot of shear over there. I know this thing is, uh, could tear apart, we're, but we're still going to have to pay attention nevertheless. This thing could still hold its, uh, its structure together and pass south as either a strong tropical storm or, su or, or such. The intensity models have been very interesting right here. This is what we're looking at. We're looking at models keeping this a Category 4 status. Some have this going up to potentially 150 miles per hour. The CTCI has this going up to Category 5 status, which I will say this. I saw this with Hurricane Sam. It's going to start slowing down in intensity after this. But if it doesn't, then Category 5 uh, is not off the table. But I do believe it's going to start slowing down in intensity after this for two reasons. One, it is moving through cooler water right there. And even though the shear is, doing, is excellent for this thing to continue, the water is starting to get less and less favorable as time goes on. So we're going to have to continue paying attention to, the, uh, to, attention to it as it continues to develop. And, uh, and two, generally, hurricanes cannot last the, uh, this uh, long intensifying. Like, this has already gone 24 hours of rapid intensification. This is No, this is 24 hours of explosive intensification, ladies and gentlemen. So, yeah, this is what we're looking at. And these models that I normally would talk to you guys about, they're effectively obsolete right now. Uh, we're looking at the h wharf model. It's obsolete at this point. It has it weakening. Like, we're not using these models because they're at this point, they are obsolete because this thing is already so much stronger than it was at, uh, at the time of the model run. This has a pressure of 954. The h wharf had this starting at 968. This thing has passed the most aggressive model. And now we're going to have to wait and see what happens because 
Hawaii is still a few days away and it is protected mostly by the sheer and cooler waters. But we're going to have to pay attention to see what happens. I don't think anyone expected this to happen. That's probably the most alarming part of this whole saga right here. And if you are watching this, I want you to share this video. Because this is the most powerful storm in the world right now. And we are all witnessing history because this is, what, July 11th, and we already have a 140 mile per hour hurricane. Then again, Hurricane Douglas was similar to this. It happened a couple weeks later, but it peaked at 130. This is past Hurricane Douglas in, from 2020. It's already only early to mid-July. So, with that being said, that's going to end this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps me help and helps me make more videos like these. We need to get this to as many people as we can. So if you have Instagram, if you have Facebook, if you have whatever social media, share this video. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe.